brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Everyone knows the Wizard of Oz. This 1939 classic Metro Goldwyn Mayer film, based off the beloved book by L. Frank Baum, has become an icon of our culture. It is one of the first films to ever garner the status of cult classic, meaning that despite initially poor box office sales, the film went on to amass a large cult fan following. We all know the songs. We all know the kooky characters like the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, and of course, the terrifying Wicked Witch of the West. And who could forget one of the most identifiable songs of all, Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Besides Over the Rainbow, no other song captures the spirit of the movie better. But what many sometimes miss is that there were two brick roads in Oz. There was the famed Yellow Brick Road and the Red Brick Road. Even as a small child when I would watch this film, I would always wonder, where does the Red Brick Road go? Both the Munchkins and Glinda drive home the point that Dorothy must follow the Yellow Brick Road to get to the wizard and ultimately find her way home. They repeat it over and over again, follow the Yellow Brick Road as though they want to make absolutely sure that's the road she takes. But why? Are they just concerned she may stray from the path? I believe it goes much deeper than that and has much more dire consequences for Dorothy should she fail to heed their advice. If you are familiar with the Wizard of Oz lore, then you are probably aware that there are two schools of thought regarding Dorothy's adventures in Oz. The first theory is that Oz is a real place that Dorothy actually visits. The second theory is that Oz is simply a vivid dream she has after being knocked unconscious in the tornado. If you believe the second theory, that Oz is simply a figment of a concussion-induced dream, then the red brick road takes on special significance. We all know the yellow brick road leads to the Emerald City, where she will find the wizard and her way home, but the red brick road would lead to her death. You see, the yellow brick road was her path to survival from the head injury she was suffering. This explains why Glinda couldn't simply send her home from the very start with the ruby slippers. I've always thought that her excuse of, because she wouldn't have believed me, as an explanation for why she didn't send Dorothy home sooner was a weak one. But now, it makes sense. Dorothy needed time to recover. The adventure through Oz along the yellow brick road, her meeting her companions, defeating the witch, were all just to buy time to allow her damaged brain to heal. She physically couldn't wake up any sooner. There were two roads in Oz, yellow to recovery, red to death. Keep this in mind the next time you watch the movie. It will certainly change the way you see the film. <laughs>